Okay, I went to eBay and picked up this 3900 XT to try to get my motherboard BIOS updated. I really hope this works and there is nothing wrong with the other hardware. I think I'll also give this a try with benchmarking to get a sense of how this works compared to the other CPUs I have, which are the 5600X and 5800X 3D. Okay, and there the chip is in the motherboard. Uh, one note is I think I put too much thermal paste. I'm going to probably uh, put a little bit less this time. It seems that when I um, pulled the other chip out, uh, or pulled the heat sink out, the other chip actually stuck and pulled right out of the socket. So I had to kind of carefully clean and check the pins and it looked like there was nothing wrong. So uh, I think I'm pretty lucky. Either way, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if this chip works. Okay, so I um, turned on my machine after getting the CPU cooler in. Uh, this is the 3900 XT and it posts. So that's a good thing. Um, let me take a look and explore some of the details of this uh, setup here on the motherboard. All right, I um, went to my motherboard's support site uh, for the X570i. On the BIOS, it looks like the newest version is 5003. Those are the other versions there. I'm going to download this version. In downloads, save. Let me take a look at this file. Okay, I'm going to unzip this file. Looks like there is a BIOS renamer. Oh, it looks like it renames the file to sx570ig.cap. Yeah, here's the file. I think I'm supposed to take this, um, copy it to my USB drive. I have an empty USB drive here. Want to you put it at the top directory and move this over into my uh, my build and see if I could actually uh, update my BIOS? Let me give this a try. All right, so I'm back in my uh, BIOS here and going to go over to the Easy Flash Three Utility under Tools. It looks like yeah, there's the uh, file. Select that. And do I want to update the BIOS? Yes. See that the uh, version of the BIOS that I had before was uh, 2407. Uh, it's right at the top there. It looks like it was uh, dated 7-1-2020. The new version is 5003. And that has a date of 10-7-2023. Ah, it's kind of amazing that it was uh, just last year.
Okay, resetting the system. Okay, going into BIOS. Yeah, look at that, right at the top. Uh, BIOS version is now at 5003. Pretty sweet. Let me um, install an operating system and do a quick benchmark and, and see where the system stands. I'm going to leave everything default. I think uh, what you're supposed to do after loading a BIOS is to load optimized defaults. Let me go ahead and do that. Don't know if there's any changes, but we'll see. Save and reset. Yeah, no changes. So after it resets, uh, after installing the BIOS, it looks like it, it loaded all the defaults. So that's good. Okay, and let me install uh, Windows and, and do some benchmarks on this machine. Okay, I had um, one more issue and it related to my NVMe. It was not being detected. Um, so one thing I had to do was uh, push down on this ribbon cable that's right here that connects to the motherboard. When you pull this off, this top plate, what happens is that the um, middle board will lift and then when that board lifts it will just pull this ribbon cable right here and then disconnect so you can kind of see there there's the the cable there you go anyways that was what i had to do to get uh windows installed all right in the uh bios um advanced NVMe configuration this is where uh, it was not showing the uh, SSD and you can see now it's showing all the details